Okay. It's our capabilities for, for space industry test systems and our lesson learned, including limitation. So, first, uh, shortly about our company. Uh, we was established by a group of engineers uh, about 10 years ago in Vespers in Latvia. Our team is represented with engineers graduated Riga, Institute of Aviation Engineers, Leningrad Mechanical Institute, Moscow Physics and Technology Institute, Leningrad and Moscow Universities. Now we are a team of 20 engineers with diverse background from aerospace software engineering to cryogenic equipment, ramjet engines, airframes, and to human machine interfaces, uh, artificial intelligence and robotics. Among our team are seven doctors of science and PhDs, and six doctors and three engineers have experience in aerospace industry. So one of the main, our products uh, is space test equipment, including space environment simulators, thermal vacuum test facilities, pneumatic test facilities and leak detection equipment. Uh, here you can see, for example, our first Latvian space environment simulator, which we can build in uh, 2015, and also leak detection equipment, and also space environment simulator. But in recent years, the main facilities we have built uh, and main experiments we provide in which are thermal vacuum test facilities for thermal conductivity measurement and thermal vacuum test facilities for space segment equipment test. Let me introduce your thermal vacuum test facility for thermal conductivity measurement. Uh, it was designed to measure the thermal conductivity of thermal insulation and at cryogenic temperature temperatures uh, in helium range in vacuum conditions or in conditions of separation uh, of thermal insulation with gases, helium, nitrogen, air, etc. Uh, the main aim is to verify uh, the production of uh, Wiles Kochner's Chemie Institute Udi Sabolis Seam uh, and prove that it is proper thermal insulation for future Ariane 6 or Ariane 9 liquid hydrogen fuel tanks. Uh, so here you can see the internal appearance and also you can see the measurement system and uh, the uh, there were vessel uh, in which the measurement system located in, in the bar chamber and also the vacuum vessel in which located the wire vessel and uh, pressure vessel uh, with the measurement system here you can see uh, the appearance of this machine of this facility and also the pneumatic and hydraulic uh, um, scheme the method of thermal conductivity measurement uh, is the method of determining thermal conductivity with heated guard zones. This method is implemented using a system for measurement of the thermal conductivity of the sample. Similar to the whole zone guard method, uh, uh, which was described in European uh, standard, uh, here is given it. Uh, the thermal conductivity measurement system is divided into a measurement zone area and guard zone area. In the schematic diagram of the thermal conductivity measurement system, you can see here the assembly of side guard zone, uh, measurement zone assembly, cold plate, uh, desic sample uh, of polyurethanium foam, uh, thermal insulation to improve the quality of measurement. The control system provides the digital filtering of signals uh, according to given algorithms to obtain the temperature potential of uh, measurement zone, uh, refrigeration zone, and uh, security zone. It process the power values of the power supplies for measurement apply uh, and size security zones heating uh, 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 control 
and uh, after each, after filtering, uh, according to our algorithm, uh, we have the number of thermal conductivity. You can see the formula of it. And here I describe the method of uh, which is uh, realized in our algorithms of uh, filtering the data. At the first stage, uh, in accordance with uh, uh, the criteria and recommendations of the standards, uh, filtering the initial data with uh, difference of temperatures of the cold end and hot end uh, less than five kilowatts. Uh, and uh, it excludes from uh, the uh, data row. On the second stage uh, of data screening is carry out, carried out on the base the three sigma method. Since the accuracy of measuring thermal conductivity, uh, other things be, be, being equal increase uh, with increasing the difference between cold end and hot end temperature. And uh, so uh, these three sigma methods realization in algorithms, and we understand uh, what kind what kind of, kind of data uh, the machine can use to form uh, the thermal conductivity um, uh, values and uh, to prove the points to check the data. Uh, uh, the measurement quality and to minimize the errors and uh, to use only these data which are acceptable for such kind of measurement. Uh, on the third stage, uh, the algorithm uh, understands uh, the internal error from the measurement row such data which uh, and in, in time of measurement which we wish uh, there is uh, a maximum errors uh, 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 of the measurement system and uh, it's mm, uh, in such kind uh, there are three filtering steps uh, 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 why we via which we pass uh, the data filtering and obtain only the data uh, which which provide the good uh, quality of measurement and uh, provide the uh, uh, um, high precision measurement of thermal conductivity of materials with very small thermal conductivity coefficient and make it possible also to evaluate uh, different factors influence for this uh, factor for thermal conductivity. Gas saturation effect for closed cell thermal insulation. For example, uh, here you can see two rows. One row is uh, the row of uh, uh, thermal conductivity points of nitrogen. And the second row, a red one, is uh, thermal conductivity points with uh, helium with material which are saturated with helium. Uh, and it's one of real experiments, one real, uh, one of the presented this curve is real experiment curve. And the experiments in the facility made it possible to verify the properties of closed cell polyuretanium decided by Latvia Wooden Chemistry Institute researches led by Dr. Udis Sabulis. And first of all, it's good impreability uh, for environmental gases, include helium and hydrogen. And this feature is very important for the liquid hydrogen tanks thermal insulation. And the second facility I want to introduce is a uh, mobile space test facility prototype. Uh, it was the project which we developed within maybe five years or six years. And we started from Terrell one and now we are on Terrell six or seven. We passed 
the horizon we pass uh, we, we receive uh, horizon contracts i mean we receive seal of excellence uh, from european commission for this project also we have european patent for such principles of mobile space testing facility and technical solutions which are uh, which uh, which provide us the capability to be movable for space testing facility and you see uh, from may 19 to august 22 uh, we together with institute of aeronautics executed uh, iraf project such number uh, and according to the requirements of this project now this facility prototype installed into air to institute of aeronautics hangar what we have done uh, we really built this facility and mounted to mini bus you see here and also move uh, through the complicated road traffic conditions and it was tested in intermodal transport moved over 2000 kilometers with maximal acceleration of 12 g participants we invite you to join the b2b area and next to the DTEC stage to participate at b2b please use I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, and finally, it was uh, removed to our workshop before moving to uh, Air 2 hangar. And uh, pro we provide full range 40 days thermal vacuum tests of actuators, optical actuators, uh, with thermal static, thermal siding, and thermal balance tests. So we can consider that this project now. Uh, can be on TRL 6 to TRL 7 stage because the facility proved the concept of mobile mobile test center in the operational environment. And what we do now, we design and develop larger thermal vacuum test facility with vacuum chamber diameter of 800 millimeters and length 1000 millimeters, and also with transportation capability. Also, we prepare the team of system engineers who can prepare for customers the test plans, make test reports, and, or help to make Dear test reports. Don't forget to capture the moments in our Sorry. photo booths located in Hall 1. Make, make analysis, help to make design review, uh, help the guys with good ideas make to be space ready. Become uh, we want to become a service on request, space engineering, kindergarten, traveling circus like Cirque du Soleil. Come to any workshops and help everyone who needs to pass validation verification stage to increase the idea general from two, three to four, seven. And what we understand during our test. During thermal vacuum tests, the specimen and vacuum chamber is placed on the supports. You can see here in the picture. And supports have their own thermal conductivity and thermal balance of the system. Space, specimen heater cryogenic shoot support uh, become unpredictable due to dependence of mutual position, thermal contact, weight distribution, and other statistic factors. The thermal balance measurement become very complicated task and can be done with significant measurement inaccuracy. The excellent way out of this situation is to use the levitation and rotation technologies, the basis of which are developed by the research group led by Dr. Arna Subelis as implementation of such a rough project, levitation. Usage of levitation technologies will will increase the accuracy of thermal balance measurement by several times and will make it possible to make a more economical cryogenic systems by reducing parasitic heat influx to the displacement. Thank you for attention. Any questions? Uh, I'm very sorry for the sound because uh, I'm sorry we are on uh, deep uh, deep tech conference and I'm very sorry. The two events are simultaneously. Dear participants, please take your seats. 
We will proceed with the okay. program. Do you have uh, questions? I, I will only short comment. Okay. Should be demonstrated with cooperation between the two of our related companies. One is Sergey is doing this uh, simulation of vacuum vacuum in in chambers, but the second was a company who is producing isolated material for for space industry. It's uh, linked to our Institute of Wood Chemistry. We are single one in Baltics to have such Institute of Wood Chemistry. I support even worldwide, and they are very skilled in the work on isolation materials, including demanded for space application. Thank you. 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 Thank you